Right, I've got some more uh, fuses for my uh, milliamp range on my multimeters. So, uh, what I've done is I've set this one up to uh, measure the amount of voltage back off this generation coil and set this one up to be the amount of uh, current going through this yellow LED here. This green LED is hooked up to the secondary coil. Uh, the neon won't be sparking across the red switch because we're pulling all the power back across that. Now uh, the primary coil is hooked directly up to these two 6 volt batteries which make 12 volt. So I'll just start it up now. As you can see the neon's not lighting up. Whereas the, the green, which is coming off the uh, the green wire on the uh, secondary there, is lighting up nicely. The yellow is lighting up nicely too. And just to see the readings we're getting back off it, at the moment it's 5 milliamps at 1.3 volts. Now, so from these batteries, uh, I think we're drawing about, uh, or the volt drop goes down to about 10 volts, and that's at uh, 17 milliamps. I'll take proper readings before I uh, upload. But I think that's quite good off uh, one little coil there. Plus, we're not even measuring what's coming back off the uh, secondary coil. And that's without using any circuit other than the reed switch and the coil. Let's see if we can get these figures to go up by moving it in. So that's 1.5 at 6.5, is it? Point four five at six. That's great. And then uh, when you actually disconnect power from it, we're still generating power off the uh, secondary coil there, which is quite good. And a smaller amount off this one, but it's died now. It's uh, not enough to light up the LED there. 